Gordon Hayward. He's an excellent playmaker for a small forward. Averaged over four assists a game after averaging over five the year before. So you've got to love a scorer who is also unselfish. Now here's Okafor. And the powerful one-handed slam. Flying high and throwing down the hard one-hander. <laughs> One of his favorite moves right there, guys. And, and really, he does that one as well as anyone. Kev, you're right. That's like his signature move once he goes airborne. Used the screen and took it all the way. Yeah, and ran his man straight into the screen and, and got a clear path to the bucket. Mm, that is how it is done. Excellent team play there on the pick, and then he rips it down. Now here's Okafor. A special move before the shot. Getting back to Hayward, the one area where you'd like to see him improve, taking care of the basketball. Averages nearly three turnovers a game the past couple of years. And, Kevin, he's made a concerted effort to be more aggressive on offense while being more efficient as well. So he's got to balance those two, aggression and efficiency. Gone two for four from the field so far today. Roten kicks to Okafer. Right side Landry. Back to Okafer. Poked away. Landry passes to Okafor. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Utah was so tough near the end of last season, Greg. Uh, they weren't going to make the playoffs, but they did give other teams some trouble. Uh, that's a great point. And, and how about going 19 and 10 after the All Star break? Another team that would have been in the playoffs right. if they were in the East. And, you know, for the Jazz, you mentioned their post All Star break surge. I mean, that 19 and 10 record they had after the break was good enough for sixth best in the league. 